The C-5A operational utility evaluation was conducted by AFTEC from July to August 1980 in response to OSD direction to verify the capability to maneuver and offload the aircraft on unprepared and matte surfaces. The OUE was limited to ground operations only and included evaluation of towing, taxiing, foreign object damage, jet blast effects, materials handling equipment, support equipment, maintainability, and cargo offload. The aircraft and team arrived at Shaw Air Force Base on the 8th of July. The soil at Shaw is predominantly a clay silt with a CPR of 15 plus. The area in the foreground was the area used for the off-pavement evaluation. Here the aircraft is turning onto a well-used track. The dust in the background is the maximum encountered at Shaw. The ruts in the foreground are the results of repeated usage. The maximum rut depth encountered here was an inch to an inch and a half. The soil at Altus is predominantly a clay with a CBR of nine, which is achieved through extensive irrigation. This is a minimum radius turn on the CBR nine soil at Altus. The aircraft weighs 665,000 pounds and the track has been used extensively. The general effect has been to abrade the grass cover and pulverize the top inch to inch and a half of the soil surface. The dust shown here is the maximum encountered at Altus. But despite this, no problem was encountered with foreign object ingestion. And this remained true even with tailwinds of up to 30 knots. At the maximum weight of 665,000 pounds, which equates to a payload of 240,000 pounds, there was no limit to the number of traffic cycles possible at any of the three sites. Numerous onloads of wheeled, tracked, and palletized cargo were performed at all three OUE sites. No differences were noted between operations on soil and operations on pavement. No difference in offload times was noted. Despite the numerous off and on loads, no problems were encountered with door or ramp systems or with the kneeling system. At Eglin, the soil was a sand with a CBR ranging from 9 to 12. This is the first taxi off the paved surface at Eglin. The aircraft weighs 425,000 pounds and is making approximately four inch ruts in the sand. As the aircraft comes back onto the paved surface, it traverses a lip between the soil and the taxiway. Notice the action of the gear as it comes back onto the pavement. This run is being conducted on the sand at a gross weight of 665,000 pounds. During this run, action of the sod caused the soil to ball up in front of the nose landing gear. When the pilot noticed an increased power requirement for taxi, the aircraft was stopped. Approximately two foot of soil was balled up in front of the nose gear. Notice that the nose gear is cocked and the aircraft is tilted. Due to this, we were not sure what stresses would be placed on the aircraft during the taxi out maneuver without instrumentation. Therefore, as a precaution, the aircraft was configured to an aft kneel condition and an offload was performed. Despite the cocked nose gear and tilted aircraft, no problems were encountered with the offload operation. It's important to stress here that the aircraft is not stuck. Flotation is being maintained. The aircraft was stopped only because of the ball of facade in front of the nose gear. This is not an uncommon occurrence with other aircraft which operate in the off-pavement environment, such as the C-130. These are the ruts in which the aircraft was melt and offloaded. After removal of the sod and dirt from in front of the nose gear, and at this point the nose gear is sitting in approximately a six-inch rut, the aircraft was taxied out under its own power. About 72% of N1 RPM was required to taxi clear. This is a power setting just slightly above idle. 
These are the ruts in which a previous operation took place. In the foreground is the six-inch rut in which the nose gear was parked.